Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please stand for the presentation of the honors by the award-winning BB High School Air Force Junior ROTC Honor Guard. Commanding tonight's performance and carrying the United States flag is Cadet Airman Sky Thomason. Honor Guard members include Cadet Captain Jasmine Vaughn carrying the Arkansas flag. Cadet Staff Sergeant Stephen Daniel is the left guard. And Cadet Senior Airman Hannah Bear is the right guard. We ask that you please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the So gallantly streaming, and the rockies echoed, the bombs bursting in, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh. Good evening, my name is Shade Harris and it is my honor to welcome you to the graduation ceremony of the BB High School Class of 2022. On behalf of my fellow graduates, I would like to thank the members of our school board, our dedicated teachers and supportive staff members, and of course, our family and friends. None of us would be here without your commitment and sacrifice. I'd also hope to thank the real MVPs, Quizlet, Photomath, and Google. But Ms. Wisdom said that I couldn't say that in a graduation speech. In all seriousness, though, our journey over the past 13 years has been anything but easy, or even normal, but here we are. Tonight is a celebration of our perseverance through numerous obstacles, the community that we have created, and 
most notably our ability to endure Eddie's jokes every day in the morning announcements. Thank you all again so much, not only for being here tonight, but for the enormous impact that you have had on each of our lives and for the continued support as we transition into the next chapter of our lives. I would now like to welcome Kara Price to the podium to introduce our next speaker. Hi, my name is Kara Price, and I am a proud member of the BB High School Class of 2022. Our next speaker says that he has never had his own identity. The first half of his life, he was known as Leroy Goff's son. The second half of his life as Noah and Avery's dad. He counts himself blessed to be called both. I know him as the man that is always on campus and around town engaging with people. I know him as the hardest working, most dedicated, and compassionate citizen in BB. Mr. Goff has served on our board for nine years, and the class of 2022 owes much of our success to his many acts of service, both seen and unseen. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming our class of 1990, Mr. BHS and school board president, Clay Goff. Good evening, graduates, and congratulations on a very special night. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we have one more test to take. Before we hand out the diplomas or turn the tassels, we have a vocabulary test, a word that you're very familiar with, a word that you've been confronted with your entire life, but unfortunately a word that you've been taught to pronounce incorrectly. The word is impossible. What if I told you tonight a new way to pronounce the word? A attitude changing word, a life changing word. You see, the correct pronunciation is not impossible. The correct pronunciation is I'm possible. Very few people in our world have ever learned to pronounce it correctly. But those that have, we read about them in our history books. Christopher Columbus in 1492 sailed the oceans blue. Oh, he was told long before that ship sailed, it was impossible. The world was flat, it would fall off the edge of the earth. But Columbus said, I'm possible, and he proved the world was round. I think of Thomas Edison. Thomas was, Edison was told it was impossible to convert electricity to a glowing amber for, for light. And impossible was right over 900 times, but he persevered, he didn't give up, and on his thousandth try, he created the light bulb that still lights our world today. Franklin Roosevelt had high expectations and desire of being a national leader in America, but in his 30s, he contracted the dehabilitating disease of polio. Doctors told him he would never, work, uh, never walk again, that his political career was impossible but not for Franklin Roosevelt. Instead, he said, I'm possible. And not only did he become our 32nd president of the United States, he also was elected to four terms more than any other president in America's history. I could continue going on and talking about people of, of our history books, but tonight, let's bring it closer to home. Let's bring it to this field. Let's bring it to your classmates. I think of Joey Babel. I think she's had a lifelong dream of, of, of desiring to play college athletics. She's pushed herself. She's trained herself. But her last year, her final semester, when coaches were making their final decisions, offering those final scholarships, tragedy struck. Her house burned. They lost everything. In the days ahead, she showed up to school not in her clothes, but in clothes that had been given by friends and strangers. It had been time for Joey to look down, to say, I gave it my best, I tried hard, but now it's impossible, but not, not Joey. But Joey did just the opposite. She continued to persevere and strive, and this fall, Joey will be attending Washita Baptist University on a basketball scholarship. I think of Tyler Boyd. 
I think if Tyler was born with a disease in his legs, doctors said at a very early age, he would be confined to a wheelchair and un unable to walk. But in just a few minutes, Tyler Boyd will say, I'm possible when he walks across this field to receive his high school diploma. I think of Shade Harris. I think of Shade like myself. Shade has, has uh, battled a speech impediment his entire life, a stuttering problem, a problem that most would say would be impossible for Shade to find success to find friendship, to find jobs in public speaking, he would have to settle for second best at best. But Shade Harris knows how to pronounce the word, I'm possible. And this year, Shade won the state FFA public speaking contest. And I can't close tonight without us, of course, remembering Caroline Nail. In September, Caroline entered MD Anderson Hospital in Houston with her bloodstream 85% infected with the deadly disease of leukemia. Hope, impossible. Survival, impossible. But not for Caroline now. For Caroline years ago had realized how to pronounce the word correctly. And today, Caroline Nail sits amongst us cancer-free to watch her son graduate tonight. <laughs> Students, the word is going to hit you. It's going to hit you unexpectedly. It's going to hit you fast. For some of you, it's going to hit you tomorrow. It may be next week or next month or next year, but the word is coming. The question is, how will you pronounce it? Impossible or I'm possible? Seniors, say it with me. I'm possible. I'm possible. Friends, family, say it with us. I'm possible. I'm possible. Yes, you are. Thank you, Mr. Goff. My name is Tristan Smith. And my name is Carly Holland. The class of 2022 has worked very hard this year, both in and outside school hours, to prepare for our next chapter. We are excited to provide you with a few highlights from our post-secondary planning process. We've spent hours talking to recruiters, filling out countless applications, trying to avoid near meltdowns by completing our FAFSAs and making tough final decisions. In the fall of 2022, our graduating class will be spreading Badger pride across the nation. We will have three Badgers in Indiana and Florida attending prestigious aviation colleges. There will be Badgers in Colorado, Oklahoma, Virginia, and competitive academic programs. We have Badgers on full scholarships for rodeo and livestock judging programs in Kansas and in Texas. We will have Badgers enduring the physical and mental challenges of basic training for our military as they prepare to serve their country. And of course, we will have Badgers in every corner of the state of Arkansas. Some will be earning their four-year degrees, some will begin across the street at ASUBB, and others will be at various technical colleges learning to weld, repair boat motors, or maintain important electrical equipment. We have felt the support and encouragement from our community these past months as we have endured this very rigorous post-secondary planning process. And we can't thank you enough. Thanks to the support of our families and friends, our teachers, counselors, coaches, and administrators, the class of 2022 received a record number of scholarships to fund our futures. We are happy to announce that our class received an annual awards worth $1,107,152. That's right, and we're even more excited to announce that with more awards coming in every day, our awards to total over four years currently stands at $4,814,789.69.
We are so proud of us. We know so many people have invested generously, and we promise to make good return on your investment by giving back to our community. Thanks again to everyone who helped guide us to this amazing achievement. We would now like to welcome our salutatorian to the stage, Mr. Bryson Edwards. What's going on, everybody? All right, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm very nervous. There's like a bajillion of you here, and I'm dressed like a dork. So if you could all just close your eyes for the next three or four minutes, that'll work. Just, yeah, okay. Members of the board, administration and faculty, family and friends, and my fellow graduates, it is an honor to be here with you today during one of the most important nights of our lives. If there is one thing that I could say, it is that we made it. We, the class of 2022, have made it to the end of the line despite everything that has attempted to oppose us. Despite the infamous tornado incident of freshman year, we made it. Despite the one week long spring break in 2020, which then turned into two weeks, which then turned into four weeks, which then turned into the longest summer of our lives, we made it. Despite countless quarantines and positive cases and methods of virtual instruction, we made it. And finally, despite the utter global and national chaos that this new decade has facilitated, we made it. We have been through the most and have proven that the spirit of the class of 2022 cannot be broken by the utmost opposition. For the sake of formality, I'm pretty sure that I have to give you, the class of 2022, some advice and inspiration as you embark on the next important steps of your life. To be completely honest with you, I believe that the advice and inspiration that you can find on Google and Yahoo.com rivals that of my own, so I decided to consult other resources. After a quick Google search, I found a quote by a musician which contains some interesting advice. In the quote, he says, you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know when to run. You never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There will be time enough for counting when the dealing is done. Now, I have no idea what he's talking about, <laughs> nor do I condone gambling in any manner, but if the quote works for you, then I would just take it and run with it. After more searching, I finally found a quote that relates to the theme of this speech and this night. A wise man was once quoted with saying, the only thing that endures is character. Fame and wealth, all of that is an illusion. All that endures is character. This wise man may or may not have been the recipient of the Heisman Trophy in 1968, may or may not have been two times unanimous All-American, may or may not have led the NFL in rushing yards for four consecutive years, and may or may not be Mr. O.J. Simpson. <laughs> Through the events of these past four years, we have proven that we can endure and persist no matter the circumstances or the verdict. Also, just a quick note, I do not recommend taking Mr. Simpson's other advice on civil obedience and domestic relationships. <laughs> Despite a town whose most impressive piece of architecture is the local water tower, I believe that I can speak for my fellow classmates in expressing how eternally grateful we are for the continued support from this community. I truly believe that all of the elements confined inside of the city limits have greatly contributed to the impressiveness and the greatness of BB High School's class of 2022. I would also like to take this opportunity to request a big round of applause for the amazing teachers here at BB Schools. The teachers here who serve with grace and passion are undoubtedly the pillars at which this school district shines. Without the teaching staff that aided and guided us to academic success, I can safely assure that the class of 2022 would not hold the same integrity and significance as it does today. Now it is my, oh, you guys can open your eyes. This, I'm almost done, just, okay. Now it is my pleasure to introduce this year's valedictorian. From our competitive rivalries in Ms. Foster's second grade class to the competitive race of first in class, I can safely assure that this person is the only person that I would be okay losing to. He is a dear friend of mine and one of the most brilliant people I have ever met. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Van.
Good evening, everyone. First of all, I would like to show some more appreciation for our Sally Detorian, my friend and future roommate at U of A, Bryson Edwards. He is an amazing person who deserves as much praise as I do. I would also like to thank all of our faculty, friends, and family for supporting us all these years. Lastly, I thank all of the wonderful people who gave me advice for writing the speech. As some of you might know, I really struggled trying to write this speech. I mean, up until now, most of you have probably never even heard my voice before. <laughs> but there's a first for everything, and tonight is a special night. My name is Kevin Van, and I grew up going to school in BB my entire life. I got the chance to know many of you and share tons of the same experiences. I got to see what you've been through and how you have all changed. And we have all definitely grown a lot since we were younger. No matter what problems we come across, we find ways to cope and move along. I know this because of all we've been through before getting to this point. Our four years of high school has had an immense impact on who we are today. One thing I'll always be grateful for is having at least one normal year of high school, that being our freshman year. Our freshman year opened up a lot of fun new opportunities to explore what this world has to offer. This school has provided us numerous clubs, sports, and electives that allowed us to not only discover new interests, but also meet new people through peers and teachers who inspired us and drove us to make the most of life. We have all broken out of our shells one way or another because of our time here at this school. We have gained new passions, unforgettable memories, and maybe even figure out what we wanted to do with our lives. Of course, our high school years did not come without a lot of challenges and hardships. We have been through crazy amounts of stress, pain, and loss of motivations. Sometimes we got so down that moving forward seemed impossible. Yet, despite these struggles, we still carried on to graduate and enter a new stage of our lives. You are all incredible people for all you endured these past few years. With that said, I would like to give you some advice for the future that has helped me before. Whatever path you choose after you graduate, gaining independence so quickly can be extremely jarring. You will find yourself in uncomfortable situations that you've never been in before. But with all unfamiliar experiences, it's normal to feel overwhelmed and anxious. By holding on and trying to make things work, you will find that you can adapt to these difficult changes. Our proudest accomplishment did not come without a lot of work and dedication. So take as much time as you need. It's also important to find good reasons to stay motivated. Things that, no matter how big or small, make life exciting and worth living. Even though failure is unavoidable, you can find comfort knowing that you are the one thing in life you can control. It's up to you to not let the negativity drag you down so you can make your own future. You have all been phenomenal, and after all this talk of the past and future, we should also remember to enjoy this moment right now and our achievements up to this point. For tonight, I implore you to try to forget all your worries and spend this time we have together to the fullest. It has been an amazing journey being with you all, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Now, please welcome Brooke Snell to the podium to introduce our next speaker.
Our next speaker is someone I've known for a little while. Dr. Chris Nell was born in Batesville, Arkansas, and graduated from Southside High School in 1994. He received a Bachelor of Science degree from Hendricks College in 1998. He went on to receive a Master's and Specialist degree in Educational Leadership from Arkansas State University. 2019, he completed his doctorate in Educational Leadership from Arkansas Tech University. Dr. Nell has worked in the field of public education for the past 24 years in various roles, including history and health teacher, coach, athletic director, assistant principal, principal, curriculum coordinator, transportation director, and now superintendent. Dr. Nell has been married to my mom, Dr. Caroline Nell, for 25 years. They have two sons, me and my brother, Bo, a rising senior at BHS. Please join me in welcoming our superintendent, my pops, Dr. Chris Nell. Well, good evening. I can tell you that we've had some pretty amazing speeches so far. And uh, I always say this, but I'm going to say it again. Let's give the class of 2022 another big hand. I'd also like to acknowledge, like our students and Mr. Goff, our great faculty. Can we give them a hand, too? Countless hours they work with our students. So I know that everybody is ready for us to get the diplomas going, so I'm going to speak quickly. But I do want to honor our class of 2022. Welcome and good evening, family, friends, faculty, Board of Education, and our honored guests, the class of 2022. It is a privilege to be standing here with you tonight celebrating the end of a 13-year journey that has led you to this point. As a parent of a senior, I can say it's been a long time coming. Good job. Seniors, I know you cannot wait to turn the tassel and take the next step toward independence. Before you do that, I encourage you to take just a moment to reflect on the experiences and people that helped you along the way. Each of you has had a unique path that has shaped you into who you are today. I am sure there are many ups and downs, but remember, each step has helped you prepare for what lies ahead. I have watched you work through challenges of high school, and I am confident that you are ready to take on the next phase in life. Tonight's message, like so many before me, is about encouragement. It's keep going. Take the lessons you have learned thus far and use those throughout life. Think of the grueling practices that seem like they would never end, or the many hours rehearsing for your band competition until you'll ever know it was perfect, or even the late night study sessions that led to the hard earned day that you weren't sure was possible. Let these experiences be the fuel that drives you forward as you pursue your dreams. Whatever is next for you, whether it is the workforce, college, trade school, military, be confident in knowing that you have the foundation needed to achieve success. To all of you that have played a part in helping our scholars reach this milestone, thank you. It truly takes a village, teachers, administrators, parents, family, friends, and loved ones. I know you are so proud of your seniors, and you should be. I encourage you to cherish the moment and soak it in with all of them. Then continue to be the compass as they take on the world. Congratulations, BB High School, class of 2022, and remember, once a Badger, always a Badger.
Hi, my name is Ethan Godwin, and I have the honor of introducing the principal of BB High School, Dr. Carla Tarkington. She is completing her 14th year as an administrator with the BB Public School District and her 22nd year in education. This is her fifth year as a principal at BB High School. Dr. Tarkington received her bachelor's degree from Washita Baptist University, her master's from University of Arkansas at Little Rock, and from Arkansas State University, her head educational specialist degree and her doctorate in educational leadership. Dr. Tarkington is married to Mike Tarkington and has two daughters, Taylor and Haley, who are both BB High School alumni. On behalf of the class of 2022, I would like to thank her for all her dedication and hard work. Join me in welcoming Dr. Carla Tarkington. Thank you, Ethan. Good evening. Several times tonight we've heard the word normal being used. It was said that ninth grade was the last year this class had a normal year. We've heard phrases such as back to normal, normal school day, or the new normal. But what does normal mean anyway? Webster's Collegiate Dictionary defines normal as characterized by that which is considered typical, usual, or routine. So what is normal for our BHS seniors? If we break it down letter by letter, it would sound something like this. N is for new. Seniors now enjoy a new schedule with a shortened school day. They have new furniture in the cafeteria, complete with the new soft yogurt machine and the mini pizza oven. All year long, they have enjoyed the new jumbotrons here at the stadium and at the arena. They've listened to and watched live stream events through our newly rebranded sports broadcasting program. And they started a new tradition, having breakfast for seniors and their parents on their last official day of school. O is for out of the ordinary. This class has earned over $4 million in scholarships with seven students earning governor scholarships. Annie, this spring's musical, saw the largest cast in school history with 75 members. The class also had the highest percentage of students earning qualifying scores on the advanced placement exams. This is also the largest graduating class in school history with 264 seniors. R stands for record breaking. Members of the 2022 graduating class won 5A indoor state track and 5A state weightlifting titles. They broke school, conference, and state records in track and field. Other members of this class broke the school record for the most points scored in a single basketball game. Another for the most points scored in a season. We definitely have some record breakers. We have a few rule breakers too. <laughs> M is for maneuverable. The class of 2022 had to be flexible. Monitor and adjust, they were told, and they did. They maneuvered their way through AMI days due to tornado threats and 15 inches of snow and ice. They maneuvered through more AMI days for the flu and for multiple COVID-19 outbreaks. They had to learn the ins and outs of online learning and testing, checking out hotspots, and all the workarounds of the new attendance policy. A is for award-winning. The class of 2022 has enjoyed a nationally recognized yearbook for the past two years. The class boasts an, e boasts an Eagle Scout and a state decathlon winner. Students representing service clubs and organizations have competed at the state and national level. Individual, individuals in this class have earned awards in visual arts. They have earned all region and all state honors in band and choir. Class members have individually earned all conference and all state honors in athletics. Our work-based students have earned a paycheck while working on campus. These students have been awarded scholarships for academics, for athletics, for trade schools, and even for livestock judging and rodeo. Last but not least is L, and that is for leaders, loss, and lessons. Members of the class of 2022 have enjoyed many leadership roles here at the school level, district level, and even earned state offices in their respective organizations. The class of 2022 has also suffered loss. 
During the pandemic, activities and opportunities were lost. This class of 2022 also lost two of their own classmates, Scout Renee Rogers and Noah Hunter Britton. This class has also learned many valuable life lessons. When school shut down in the spring of 2020, students quickly learned they needed face-to-face -face teaching. They needed their counselors, they needed routine, and most importantly, they learned that they needed each other. So when you break down the word normal, it's easy to see that the class of 2020, 2022 is anything but typical, usual, or routine. They're beginning new traditions, and their accomplishments can only be described as out of the ordinary and record-breaking. They have learned to maneuver through life's challenges, disappointments, and changes. Their perseverance has resulted in accolades and awards. Lastly, they are developing into outstanding leaders who will leave the halls of Beebe High School to achieve great things. Parents, community members, and each employee of Beebe Public Schools, from central office staff to board members to cafeteria workers, custodians, secretaries, and teachers have all contributed to where you are today. We are extremely proud of all that you have achieved thus far and I consider a privilege to have served as your building principal. Congratulations to our normal class of 2022. And without further ado, we will confer the diplomas. Kevin Van. Bryson Edwards. Shade Allen Harris. Ashton Martin Payne. Christian Ecker Cummings. Howie Christine Harden. Madeline Marie Atkins. Tristan Andrew Smith. Jillian Elaine Howard. Juliana Marie Joyner. Jaden Christopher Lee Ray Cargill. Ethan Andrew Godwin. Harley Elizabeth Walls. John Ethan Abernathy. Kara Elise Price. Joey Lynn Babel. Erica Jacqueline Aguilon. Mia Alicia Johnston. Rachel Lauren Barnett. Taylor Ann Marie McIntyre. Gracelyn Olivia Ross. Peyton Elaine Henson. Fisher Abbott. Dominic Lee Abraham. Noe Aldalberto Alai. James A. Arsment. Ashton Garrett Archer. Connor Allen Atkinson. Victoria Bailey. LaJoy Jayla Barker. 
Yaelene Basilio. Bobby Raymond Beatty. Christopher Lee Benton. Delaney Renee Benton. Courtney Nevea Rose Burner. Katie Lorraine Burner. Emily Brooke Bevel. Taylor Elizabeth Binkley. Morgan Deshay Bisbee. Allison Sue Bivens. Dylan Blevins. Haven Danielle Blythe. Michael Wayne Boaz. Amaya Michelle Bonds. Emma Alexis Booth. Zoe Marie Boyce. Tyler Christopher Boyd. Maya Allison Bradley. Aiden Dean Grinsfield. Charlie Sue Ann Britton. Jade Ann Britton. Jasmine Jane Britton. Brandon Gabriel Burkett. Michaela Faith Burks. Nathaniel Allen Burleson. Kaidon Butler. Jade Nicole Camp. Adrian Caronco. Kennedy June Carter. Fallon Marissa Cecil. Kinley Faith Chapman. Colin Nathaniel Chastain. James Grayson Childers. Ashley Nicole Clark. Ethan Michael Clark. Daniel Clemens. Sarah Christine Collier. Ethan Grant Crafton. Emma Rose Crisco. Jackson Cade Crisco. Garrett Ray Kurtzinger. Connor Dance. Jackson Coy Daniels. Johnny Daniels. <laughs> Noah Michael Davidson. Aiden Christopher Davis. Alexandra Marie Davis. Brittany Faith Davis. Liana Rose Davis. Zechariah Davis. 
Destiny Nicole Diane Dillon. <laughs> Allie Marie DiNapoli. <laughs> Kaylin Elizabeth Duke. <laughs> Kaylee Nicole Eight. <laughs> Cami Isabella Nicole <laughs> Evans. Sage Everest Fukino. Evan Wayne Everidge. Cassidy Emma Everright. Braylon Elizabeth Felty. Lorenzo Finley. Jaden Kane Fitcher. Chloe Ann Fleener. Taylor Ray Foster. Andon Reed Fowler. Aiden Ruby Elizabeth Gardner. Kendra Liana Gavin. Cassandra Genovese. Sneha Gungus. Ben Gonzalez. Lindley Tate Haley. Grant William Haller. Jackson Stone Hamby. Alicia Ariana Harold. Alex Hurd. Christopher Noah Heil. Brandon Henderson. JP Henderson. Justin Henley. Conley Herkamp. Alex Hernandez. Jimmy Hernandez. Noah Allen Hershider. Quentin L. Hoffman. Austin Carl Holland. Carly Jewel Holland. Max Holliday. Edward Solomon Holtz. Taiwan Huffman. Frankie Elizabeth Hughes. Colby Michael Johnson. Gabriel Ethan Johnson. Taylor Leanne Johnson. Jonathan Andrew Jolly. Dominic Allen Jones. Gianna Arlene Kappa. Oscar Nathaniel Kirk. Noah Lee Kret. Haley Mercedes Lavoy. Tabitha Renee Lawson. Savannah Nicole Lee. Gracie Leanne Lindsay. Langston Paul Lindsay. Laney Anna Longing. 
Oscar Lopez. Natalie Serena Lasoria. Ernesto Malpica. Vaughn Diarlo Macklin. Jonathan Madbay. Daniel Justice McGee. Spencer Jenkins Malone. Cody Ryan Mars. Riley Logan Marshall. Ian Marsh. Ethan Lawrence Martin. Christian Adam Martindale. Brian Martinez. Coleman Matos. Molly K. Matthews. Kirsten Jade. Anna Grace Elizabeth McCartney. Olivia Renee McCormick. Taylor Grace McGahey. Zoe Madison McGee. James Michael McIntyre. Noah Christopher Menzies. Caitlin Melanie Mazaros. Alyssa Grace Miles. Julia Diane Morgan. Brandon Seth Morton. Garrett Allen Mullins. Bryce Colin Myler Good. Brooks Nail. Mackenzie Faye Neal. Anthony Andrew Nelson. Jessica Lynn Nichols. Miami Nicole Neese. Logan Alexander Osman. Jaden Henry Oser. Alexander Owens. JC Lynn Owens. Caleb Michael Perkins. Lauren Michelle Pierce. Maxwell Cole Poindexter. Fabrice Essence Polite. Reuben Wayne Price. Angel Luciano Polito. Alexis Ray Qualabom. Clay Warren Queen Jr. David Rains. Hayden Ramsey. Spencer Lee Ray. Paul Brandon Rector. Jordan Lynn Reddick. Gracie Lynn Rigsby. Elizabeth Ann Roberts. Kara McKaylin Roberts. Scout Rogers. Jafet Rodriguez. Woo! 
Anathan Antonio Royball. William Henry Rudd. James Riley Runyon. Kenzie Ray Russell. Enrique Capone Salinas. Allison Page Scott. Trenton Dakari Scott. Cody Allen Seiler. Lucas Allen Simmons. Audrey May Elizabeth Smith. Dawson James Smith. Taylor Blaine Smith. Trenton Scott Smith. Logan Dennis Spradlin. Anna Michelle Stark. Seth Marshall Stark. Logan Stevens. Tim Claxton. Dakota Lee Dorton. Dallas Ray Smith. Caitlin Nicole Stevens. Brianna Stifler. Ty Benjamin Strickland. Travis T. Swanigan. Maddie Rochelle Tapp. Caitlin Ashley Tomlinson. Mia Caroline Trammell. Dalton Clay Trinkline. Will Truesdale. Gavin Lane Tunnell. Nathaniel Cole Turner. Jasmine Taylor Vance. Christopher Adam Vincent. Michael Sage Vines. Taylor Walls. Caden Alexander Ward. Jalen Washington. Nathaniel Waters. Mason Andrew Wells. Caitlin Joy Whaley. Michael Ridge White. Noah Wiggs. Christian Antonio Willett. Layton Clay Wilhite. Allie Jewel Williams. Evan Alexander Williams. Olivia Camille Williams. Cameron Michael Wolf. Lauren Nicole Wright. Alana Paige Wyatt. Landry Paige Wyrick. Brianna Rose Zimebner. Zimmerebner.
May the class of 2022 stand while we sing and sway to the alma mater. I'm not standing in front of the mic. That goes to you. Come on, come on. Students have completed the requirements of BB High School and the state of Arkansas for graduation. By the power invested in me as principal by the state of Arkansas, I declare you a graduate of BB High School. You may now turn your tassel. Congratulations, BB High School graduates of 2022. Thank you for coming tonight and for your support of BB Public Schools. Have a safe night. <laughs>